when we did the Koizumi unit on visualizing cultures, we didn't have a photograph of him. We had no image of this man who was working in the 1920s, 1930s, 1940s. Since then, and just recently, we have dug up, I have dug up with the help of Yasko Dawa, who tracked this down with great detective work in Japan, a museum in Japan that ran a series of Koizumi exhibitions and produced some lovely catalogs. We have, we opened with several photographs of Koizumi, so this was the first time that I had ever been able to look at and see uh, the artist that we'll be dealing with. And the first of the images is 1922, and Koizumi is standing with a small group of artists, and he is wearing very traditional Japanese costume. Uh, the second image is 1929. He's with a very large group. It gives you a sense of the artistic community, the dynamism. And then uh, the gem of, the, of this particular uh, volume is a self-portrait that yeah. Koizumi did hmm. in 1938, which is just when most of the woodblock prints will be looking at end. He does a huge series which we're going to examine. So we finally can see the man that we are uh, dealing with. There is a, another catalog which they did. Um, he's a very gifted man and a very prolific man. And one of the things he did was he would every year, probably around New Year, send postcards to a few friends. And one of his sketches here, and this is terrific, doesn't say it's a self-portrait, but I'd be willing to bet that this is probably Koizumi also. If it isn't, it still gives you a sense of what a gifted artist he was, because these were just things he was sharing with his friends. I brought these in also to share with you and we can share with our, with our viewers. These then, are amazing uh, resources. Uh, this is a striking Im image, yeah. what you call a self-portrait, John, because he, he places it, it as, a, as a, a, a 19th century woodblock print. Hmm. Uh, he, he, use, he uses the uh, cartouche and everything, yeah. hmm. so he's seeing himself as a, a man from an older period. And it's actually, I believe, when he is a little bit younger, because the mm -hmm. date of this, uh, the fourth year of Taisho, uh, so this would be 1915, mm -hmm. which would be mm -hmm. contemporaneous to uh, the first photograph, photograph. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. when he is in his Japanese uh, costume. Outfit, yeah. costume. Uh, yeah. So the photograph, uh, it's actually a little bit before that, so the first photograph is from 1922 when he's in his Japanese outfit. And this will be a same. image from about uh, seven years prior to that, mm -hmm. um, 1915. Mm -hmm. um, so he is quite young um, in this one. This is the third catalog um, from the museum. It's a wonderful little museum called the, Sh the Art Museum uh, in Shinmachi in Shinshu. And that it includes in the back and we'll try to share this with you in the MOOC. Uh, it includes some of the sketches that he made when he was making his prints, and it gives you a sense of the manufacture mm -hmm. of these artworks. It's sketches, not, not blocks. There's a little of both in here. Oh. Uh, mm. uh, as, uh, but these, these are very rare documents. 